There are a lot of open questions. So why did the Russians offer dirt on Hillary Clinton? Uh, why did the president's son uh, say that he would love to have that help? These questions have not been answered by the summary we got from Bill Barr. And this administration would like to whitewash and simply say uh, no collusion, which is actually not what the report we believe says. Well, Democrats still clinging to Russian collusion tonight. As Attorney General Bill Barr says, a version of the full report is coming in weeks, not months. So let's bring in the Republican Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman, Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, who actually had a dinner tonight with the Attorney General. Great to have you with and us. It was really good food. <laughs> <laughs> they serve a fine meal over there yeah, at the I'm DOJ, sure you apparently. All day on it, yeah. Uh, okay, so can you give us anything about the contours, the sure. size of this report, when we may be able to see it? What do you know? What can you well, tell I don't us? know how large it is, but I know what's going on as we speak. Mm -hmm. The report is being um, looked at for a couple things. We cannot release grand jury information because that violates the law. Mm -hmm. So he's going to check with uh, Mr. Mueller to make sure that everything that is grand jury related is taken out of the report because the law requires that. He's going to go to the intelligence community to make sure that we don't release classified information or sources and methods that may jeopardize our national security. He's going to talk to some prosecutors who have cases associated with this to see if anything in the report would undercut them. Uh, he's going to do all that in weeks, not months. He's going to turn it over to the committee. Then I think he'll come to the Senate, hopefully sometimes in April. Do you think the White House will have a chance to look at it before it's public? Uh, he decided that the White House is okay with releasing it without looking at it. Mm -hmm. because the, the president. Pre yeah, I talked to him mm -hmm. just a few minutes ago, the president, and he said, let it out. There'll be some things in there I think will be uh, interesting in terms of conversations. But the bottom line here is that Mueller has looked at this for two and a half years. He's concluded that no one on the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians and that the, the facts regarding um, obstruction were insufficient for him to make a decision. Therefore, there is no way you could prosecute a case if the prosecutor is unsure. As you know, many of your counterparts in the Hill, the other side of the aisle, don't agree. Here is Senator Richard Blumenthal. There was clearly evidence of collusion. And I want to see the Mueller report, not the bar summary, for all of the evidence and see how close it came to proof beyond a reasonable doubt. How does that benefit him? All I can say is that my friends on the other side, uh, I stood behind Mueller. I thought there was a conflict with Sessions. I thought Sessions couldn't investigate the campaign he was part of. I know the president didn't like that, but it really wasn't a hard call. If there's an accusation against the campaign, how can somebody in the campaign actually oversee the investigation? So Mueller was the right guy. I thought he was a man of great integrity. Every Democrat, including Blumenthal, said he's the perfect guy to do this. The verdict is now in. They just can't take the verdict. It doesn't fit the political narrative. I like Senator Blumenthal, but you'd be doing yourself and your party a great service if you would accept the findings of Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller said there was no evidence of collusion between President Trump or anybody on his campaign with the Russians, period. Well, and the attorney general quoted that portion right. of the special counsel in his letter, and yet a number of Democrats continue to say they don't trust the summary or the letter from the attorney general. That's why they have to see the full report. That suggests to me that they think that, that the attorney general is in some way compromised or unable to do his job properly. They're really hurting themselves. I like all of these people. Uh, I stood by Mueller. I made sure that he was allowed to finish his job. I thought that was my job as a Republican to give him the space to look at an accusation against a Republican president. Now, here's what I would ask my Democratic friends to do. Let this go. There is no grand conspiracy here. Mr. Barr is a great man. He served this country for decades. He's very honorable. He's just telling you what Mueller found after two and a half years. And I will say this, if they don't accept this and they keep wanting an outcome in spite of the evidence, they're going to get President Trump reelected on this issue alone. All right, you've talked a lot about the fact that you are interested in tracing back to the origins of this thing, the dossier, the yes, FISA warrants, and everything yes, else. Here is what Congresswoman Catherine Clark, a Democrat, has to say about you poking around in that kind of stuff. I would say to Lindsey Graham, 37 indictments, 
37 indictments coming out of this investigation. Uh, I think that he should proceed with caution. Your reply? Well, I would say that nobody has been indicted for colluding with the Russians. And then I would say to Ms. Clark, if the Republican Party had hired Mr. Steele to uh, do opposition research against Hillary Clinton, and the dossier prepared against Clinton came from Russian sources that was a bunch of garbage, and it was used four times to get a warrant against a Clinton associate, she would be screaming bloody murder. If the two people in charge of investigating Clinton like Trump and wanted Clinton to lose, it would be a very big deal. All I can say to my Democratic friends, if the shoe were on the other foot and to the media, you would be burning this place down. The double standard here just is to high heaven. There's no way in hell they would give the Republican Party a pass if we did exactly what the Democrats did here, hire a foreign agent to produce a dossier against them that was a bunch of garbage. Why, why not care about this? Every American should believe and have confidence in the judicial system. Did the DOJ, the top people, the FBI, the top people, not the rank and file, did they take the law in their own hands? Did they produce to the court a document that was unverified to get a warrant just to make sure they could get into the Trump campaign? So the bottom line is, did they take the law in their own hands to create a political weapon with it? This needs to be looked at. It's going to be looked at. And I'm hoping that Mr. Barr will look at him himself or put a, a point of special prosecutor. I heard your show last night. Somebody's got to decide, is there criminal responsibility on the other side? I'm not capable of doing that. I'm not a prosecutor. We want somebody like a Mueller that can tell the country, I've looked at the FISA warrant application. I've looked at the criminal uh, counterintelligence investigation. I've looked at how the Clinton email investigation was handled. I find fault or I don't. And that person needs to be of the same stature as Mr. Mueller, because when this ends, if we don't look at how it got so off the rails, if we don't look at how this accusation against the president came about, then uh, shame on us, because it's very important to find out and tell the American people, how could the system screw it up so badly? Keep us up to date as this proceeds. Uh, Mr. Chairman, always good to see you. See thanks you soon. And thanks Thank for you. watching last night, too. Thank you, I did.